Eric, can you sort of give us your thoughts on uh, the approach at center going forward uh, as Omer works his way back with the move yesterday and how that might change or enhance the dynamic? I mean, first, uh, you know, those were um, – we feel grateful um, and appreciative that we were able to get Dwayne when we did uh, two years ago, and he, he helped us. Um, you know, so this is a move that we felt made the most sense just from uh, – um, roster flexibility uh, standpoint, uh, and we also got uh, you know more good news. Uh, obviously, with Orlando, um, he'll be able to to play uh, with a splint um, without missing any more time. And uh, Omer is is making a, a lot of progress. Um, so in the meantime, you know we have we have enough guys that we can play there, and we also have um, some encouraging news with guys uh, you know coming back, and then. Uh, we have a little bit of flexibility on our roster, too. And uh, bringing up Jamari uh, on a 10-day, your thoughts on what you've heard from him, from Kasib, and what, what do you see his niche might be if he gets playing time? Uh, this has been a fun process with this group. It, it really has been. Um, because we've had a lot of different summer league groups, um, and this one uh, has probably uh, surprised us as much as any group, just from – who they were and what they looked like uh, the first few days of, of summer camp uh, and then after August and then um, our training camp. Uh, and then uh, each one of them have made such significant progress in Sioux Falls. Um, that, that that has been enjoyable to, to watch that, but then also to be able to keep them in our system and then also reward them in whatever ways that we can. Um, but he has gotten a lot better. He gives you that that speed and quickness factor that is unique. Um, and he's made progress defensively. Uh, he can be extremely disruptive with that quickness. Uh, and then in terms of, you know, getting a team organized and all that stuff, that that um, will be uh, something that he'll continue to work on. And I, I've seen a lot of improvement in that area as well. <coughs> Bless you. Spo, just real quick, I uh, wanted to ask you about uh, LeBron last night and what he was able to accomplish and obviously, you know, to now be the scoring champ in the history of the NBA. Uh, I rarely, you know, stay up for those late games, um, but that was my CTV. Uh, it, it, it's so historic, you know, for uh, him to be able to do that and also for Kareem to be in the building. That's one of those amazing NBA moments. Um I think everything's been said uh, already uh, about it. Um, but LeBron just continues uh, to deliver, you know, on, on everything that was uh, anticipated or maybe expected, you know, out of an 18-year-old that is also impossible, you know, to uh, project uh, forward. He's basically been doing everything that was projected uh, of him since he was in eighth grade, really. Um, and it was just a, a pretty amazing uh, night. All right, thank you.